Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome to Black Mesa, which I think I've broken somehow on the main menu. Look at this. We got this. It's supposed to be some fucking animated thing, but all it is is this a resume button that does nothing. I mean, it still works, but weird. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this. Anyways. That out of the way. <laughs> Welcome to Black Mesa. Uh, I mean, things just straight up not functioning is pretty on brand for this facility. Uh, so we're getting the authentic Black Mesa experience. Anyway, so Black Mesa, for those of you unaware, is a... <laughs> It's a, a fan-made remake that came out a few years ago of half of the original Half-Life, which I should hope requires no introduction. If you don't know what that is, how, how'd you get here? <laughs> but I'm not going to be explaining it. <laughs> you'll, you'll figure it out. I pl uh, I've already played this a few years ago, back when it was... Original uh, back some time after it was originally launched, but here we are. I gotta be playing it again now. W why this game in particular? Because I felt like playing this again. No other reason really. So yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, let's get right into anomalous materials because I'm not gonna make you sit around for like twelve minutes watching a tech demo effectively. <laughs> so let's. Get right into the adventures of the incredible, sleep-deprived lab rat, Gordon Freeman. Hi, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, you don't need to tell me that. Yeah. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. He better be. Gonna beat his ass. This bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Yeah, I'm gonna finally ca catch up to him. I'm his bar tab. Yo. Let me through, mate. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. You're one to talk. Look at that fucking haircut. If you can call that hair. <laughs> at least I stood for something at some point. Yeah. Ah, the illustrious hey, Black Freeman. Mesa. Shut I up. had a bunch of messages for you. Gonna drop me. We had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Oh, that's comforting. It's one of those days, I guess. Yeah, I know I'm what you mean. I'm also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but oh. I think that's all straightened out. Oh, that's comforting. You told me to make sure you headed to down hear. there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Yeah. Ah, uh, the illustrious Black Mesa Research Doctor, Facility. Narchi. Will you stop Please interrupting me? I'm trying to be on a, be monologuing here. God damn it. Ah. Anyways, what was I saying? Ah, never mind. Doesn't matter. Uh. What are you doing still running around up here? Oh, right. I'm running late. Uh, I feel. I've got a bad feeling about today. There was a coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. TPS reports. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to that experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction? <laughs> You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. 
Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. <laughs> Office politics, man. If you're if you're a bit slow, you for the record, they're cl very clearly talking about this game, Black Mesa. Uh, ah, crap, wrong way. Oh uh, yeah. I've got a great feeling about today. Yeah. I mean, I, w I mean, I woke up way too late. I'm in the, I'm very much in the barrel today. Stuck on lab rat duty again. Really, really putting that PhD to good use, aren't you, Gordon? Fuck it. I'm. My job could be done by a monkey. Morning, champ. Hello. Oh. Yo. No, that's giving it too much credit. My job could be done by a... I'm trying to think of something lesser than a monkey. My, jo my job could be done by a fucking beast of burden. Oh well. Ooh. At least I've got a bit of office politics to tide me over. This wouldn't happen to be... Oh yes, I recognize that. That full, oh, that slop. That's his food, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he is going to regret leaving this out after what he pulled Can last you week. Can access the mail server? No, I can't. Fuck off. Now, uh, do I steal it, or... No, he might have laced it with something. This might be a trap. So, uh, let's just subtly ruin it, shall we? Yeah, that'll work. If Josh complain, people will just think he fucked up Good the timing. Heavens. What the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, thoroughly torched. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. <laughs> yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause uh, that was, um, that was you know who's lunch. Oh boy, do I know. He's gonna regret crossing the Freeman. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Oh god, that is offensive. <sighs> Rat. No toilet paper. There you go. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Oh, you were. Alright. No helmet, as usual. God, when are they gonna fix that helmet? I could be fucking... I mean, I mean, it's only my brain that it'd be protecting. Compl I, I could easily see why they it'd be a low priority. They certainly don't need me for my brain. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV. Ah, someone Protective took all the charge. System. For use in hazardous environment conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impact, why does this one take so long? Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring. Mm. Activated. Automatic medical system Whee! engaged. Defensive weapon. Oh, yeah. Activated. Love this suit. Online. Favorite part of being in this job. Look at these hydraulics. Look at these servos. Oh, worth the price of admission. What are you guys doing? We're all set for this weekend. Dr. Gibbons is coming in to cover for you. Splendid! I haven't missed the New Mexico Comic Convention yet. Yes, soon we will drive our enemies before us. <laughs> and hear the lamentations of their women! <laughs> <laughs> Fare thee well, traveler. Alrighty then. Mm, this is the wrong way, isn't it? You lost, Ace? Yeah. Yeah, this is still the wrong airline. Whee! What the fuck? Do we. Do we invent teleporters? What? What is up with you? Excuse me, Gordon, you... but I'm rather busy now. Evidently! 
What? Huh? What? Okay. I mean, I can't say I'm entirely surprised we managed to invent teleportation and it's just being casually used outside of containment by random people. That does seem on brand. Whee! Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. <laughs> As per the usual. I hate elevators. Ah, uh, ladders are closed off. Damn it. I bet they think that's for people's safety or whatever. Elevators though. Elevators are fucking death traps. Rather. Oh no. Unfortunately, so are ladders. These f fucking servos are make it so hard to actually detach from ladders for your safety again. Uh, try to jump off and they just clamp down, thinking you're slipping off or something. Always for your safety, but never for your sanity. <laughs> oh well. Did you catch that last punctuation? It's nothing to worry about. We should harness the remaining photonic energy. Control. I I've been working here for I've been working for you for years. And I still don't know why they just randomly poke these lasers out in this hallway specifically. Is there something like important in that wall that they can't? It sort of reeks of a patch job of some kind. What's up, Doc? Gordon Freeman. Hey. That's my name. Don't wear it out. You know, when did the Einstein hair go out of fashion around here? It used to be there, there used to be like, like a good third to, to a half of the people here had that hairstyle. Now I never see anyone with it. I mean, that's probably for the best. It's kind of ridiculous. But then again, it spoke to a certain, uh, not taking themselves seriously. That I kind of miss. Oh well. Ah, Gordon, hey. there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. Shut the fuck up. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Well, bit of a gamble. Bit of a gamble is an understatement. The administrator is very concerned that we get oh, a conclusive analysis of, of today's course. sample. Of course, the administrator. He this has his reek it. all over it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on then. A bit I'll walk testy, you down. aren't we today? Jesus, you'll oversleep once in a god in Eli has been busy months, making last-minute preparations for the new ass. experiment. Oh, Eli. Greetings, Eli. At least I can rely on someone to do their job. I trust this morning finds you well. Hey there. Hey, man. Gordon. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These Ditto. last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just. Oh! It's about to go critical. Jesus Christ. You need this? What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? It's exploding, that's what. It was. Never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Oh, this is just comforting. P pushing the goddamn equipment to its breaking point. Why? Not for any real scientific reasons or well-measured stuff. No, because some goddamn suit who doesn't know the first thing about science, but is pushing for it to meet, just uh, to impress his bosses. A bit longer than I anticipated. To meet deadlines or some bullshit. Deadlines which are again set by suits with n who don't know the first thing about science. 
And we're, and if anything goes wrong, we're gonna be the ones to blame for it, clearly. Who's gonna take the blame and the pay cuts and the demerits? Not the administrators who pushed this, all this crap? No, clearly it's the scientists' fault. Because everything's the goddamn scientists' fault. I don't know about this, Izzy. Puppy yeah, you pop. said it. We'll be laughing about this whilst <laughs> sipping champagne <laughs> and resting on our laurels. Laurels, yeah. And again, if it does go well, the administrator's gonna get all the credit. Not that I'd get any, any of the credit, even if even if the scientists were properly merited. I'm just a lab rat, after all. All the risk, none of the reward. Anyways, rather not go to that elevator, so... I beg your pardon? Oh, no. No, no, you're kidding me. Oh, the Black Mesa Invisible Wall program went through. Come on. Everyone was protesting that, but I pushed through anyways. For your safety. What a load of shit. Just another stupid measure that they're pushing in. Use up all the budget on rent on stupid committee decisions. Don't help anyone. I don't know why I expected anything different. Level is off the charts. Don't tell me that, man. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Preach Please. it, man. You do very meaningful work here. <laughs> Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Preach. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> Shut I up. I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. Oh, that lay off. It. Yeah. I'm going to check bent. with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. I should have taken a vacation day today. Mood kindred, man. I've never felt closer to another man. Platonic. Uh, in, in a purely Can platonic way, that server? is. Uh, than I have at this moment, man. Bah. Gordon, this had better be important. Mm -hmm. I nah. not. Keep it in. Uh, hang in there, man. I can only hope things get better. Yo. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. <laughs> yeah. Get, yeah. Oversleep once in a whole fucking uh, your whole fucking career, and suddenly everyone's on your ass. Oh. Hey man. Ah, uh, here he is. Hey, do I'm you do voice acting we'll be work? Deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Sure. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This Did is the purest sample we've seen yet, and potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Oh, don't say that, man. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. That makes... Well, go ahead. Let's Two let of us? Now. I guess that sounds a bit odd. Uh, it sounds, I was trying to go for a, that makes one of us, but then I realized there's two of you there, so... Whatever, you get the idea. Oh well, time to die. Yo! Testing! Testing! <clears throat> Testing my patience. Everything seems to be in order. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. <laughs> the specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. 
Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors... I'm trying. ...that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. There we go. Way ahead of you, man. Oh, now this never gets old. Very good. We'll I take it from here. Industry, Our science and technology. Three, Big men putting screwdrivers into things, turning them and adjusting them. I'm seeing predictable ah. phases. Never get old. Even though we'll probably kill me someday. Stage two emitters activating. I have now. already. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Or how long the reading will take. But please work as quickly as you can. I am. You guys are the ones holding things. Up. Overhead capacitors to 105 percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. What? Probably. What but is I'm it? Showing a small discrepancy in. In what? Well, no. It's well within acceptable bounds again. Oh. Sustaining sequence. No. We have just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. It's still all gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? I should have stayed in bed today. Standard insertion or non-standard specimen. Shouldn't we have non-standard insertion then? Or whatever. I won't be blamed for this. You hear? I won't be blamed for this! Oh wow! Everything is going horribly wrong when we push it outside of safe bounds! Who could have possibly predicted any of this? Who could have ever seen this coming? No one! Well, this is the death of me. Alive? For God's sake, open the silo door. Hello, BC. Galalong. I uh. Uh. Ba weep grana weep ninibong.